Here I am trapped in this vast loneliness that sneaks like an endless echo into my mind. It's a weight that is not seen but felt in every breath and every thought that gets tangled and makes me question everything. I have been told so many times that loneliness is a nolly, or fuge a space to find oneself, but friend let me tell you something that is what loneliness can be eacher. Yes, but when it becomes your only company it stops teaching you and starts devouring you. It is a feeling that I cannot fully explain like a void that doesn't, it hurts physically but it weighs more than any burden. It feels like the world is on the other side of a thick glass that is unreachable far away. I don't know if it's sadness, anxiety, tiredness, maybe everything together. The only thing that is clear is this loneliness that doesn't leave me alone, that insists in reminding myself of everything that is missing, everything that I am not, and I am not just talking about being without someone. Because this goes beyond a loving relationship. It is the lack of connection of that something that makes you feel part of something bigger loneliness at this point. It is not just a state, it is like a constant whisper in the back of my mind telling me that no matter how I try, nothing is going to change, and maybe you feel it too, as if you were carrying an invisible weight that crushes you more with each step. Everything in excess is harmful, even that loneliness that many idealize as a gift. Because here in this room full of silence there are no bright colors, only gray shades that distort reality, as I said before. I am not just talking about the lack of a partner, that is not it. I am talking about that absence of connection of those relationships that remind you that you are human, who exists to be heard, share, to simply be. The truth is that loneliness in its worst form does not discriminate. It attacks you during the day and mocks you at night. It convinces you that no one understands you, that you are better off this way isolated. At the end of the day, who is going to help you? Except with all your flaws, but here is the secret that no one tells you. The problem is not being alone. The problem is the narrative that you build in that solitude. Suddenly everything you were capable of doing seems insignificant. Everything you dreamed of building feels unattainable. And you know what is the cruelest thing? You start to believe that lie because loneliness has that ability. It only isolates you from others, but it also disconnects you from yourself. It makes you doubt your value, your purpose, your reason for being. But listen carefully. Loneliness is not the definitive enemy. It is a stage, a mirror, a test. And although right now it seems like you are winning, it doesn't have to be that way. Because even in the darkest corner of loneliness, there is a spark waiting for you. One that can be ignited if you decide to look beyond the void and remember something essential. You're not broken. You're just on pause. So yeah, here I'm in this loneliness that challenges me daily. But I'm also here to tell you that you don't have to stay stuck in it, no matter how lost you feel, how disconnected you are from the world. This is not the end of your story, it's just chapter one that you yourself can rewrite. I am sitting here in this room that seems bigger than it is. Have you felt that emptiness? I am not talking about silence, because silence can be beautiful. I am talking about that heavy absence that sneaks between your ribs and clings to your bones. Lungs as if wanted to steal your breath is that feeling that everything moves forward while you stay behind, trapped stuck in it hurts. So it hurts like the echo of a scream in the void noon hears it, but you can't ignore it for a long time. I've been wondering what I did wrong, at what point I became. This shadow of myself, there are days when I look in the mirror, and I don't recognize the person. I see tired, broken about to give up, and here I am crying inside. Although most of the time I can't even shed tears because crying would be accepting that something is wrong, and that scares loneliness. It is a prison without walls. There are no locks, but there are no exits. And the worst thing is that no one else built that prison. You are the architect. You know what I'm talking about, right? That little voice that whispers in your ear, you are not enough the same one that reminds you of every mistake. Every rejection, every broken promise. There is a poem by Emily Dickinson that says loneliness is a silent storm that breaks all our dead branches, but sometimes it is not just the dead branches that break, sometimes it seems that the storm uproots everything. And there you are standing in the rain tree to stand firm while the wind pushes you, while the water blinds you. I tell you something that storm is not the end it is a cleansing did. You know that the strongest trees are those that have survived the fiercest storms their roots. They sink deeper, they hold on tighter, and we're not so different. I have realized that a large part of my loneliness comes from comparing myself to theirs. I see how they advance, how they achieve what I dream of, and I wonder why.
They do and I do. It's not a game, cruel a race in which no one else competes. Six. Up to yourself, C explains it best. Life is not about not having problems, but about choosing the right problems. Don't measure your life by someone else's yardstick. What does it matter if they already have what you yearn? Maybe his fight was different, or maybe not. You won't know, and you don't have to know. Focus on your career, on your path, because in the end, he who wants to imitate the footprints of another loses track of his own epictet. The Stoic philosopher said, "They are not the events, those that affect us, but how we interpreted them." And I was right. The mind is like a garden; what you sow grows. If you plant doubts, fears, and resentments, you will reap anguish. But if you sow hope, faith, and gratitude, you will reap peace. That's why I take care of your mind. It is your refuge, your temple. If you let others invade it with criticism or comparisons, you profane it. If you yourself fill it with toxic thoughts, you destroy it. Be aware of what you allow into your head, because that's where your reality begins. Sometimes loneliness is not something that chooses us. It's something we choose, even if we don't. Let's know we cling to people, places, memories that no longer do us good, and in doing so, we close the doors to new opportunities. Every time you hold on to something that hurts you, you add another stone. Eventually, the weight becomes unbearable. Why not let go of some Paulo Coelho'sum sit up? So when you let go, you create space for what really matters. What you can let go of today, what you can release to lighten your load, that is the key. You. You are the only one who can transform that loneliness into strength, that emptiness into space for something new. It is difficult. I know, but that the first step is to believe that you can tell an old parable that a man tired of his loneliness went to look for. God climbed a mountain and shouted, "Why am I alone? Why have you abandoned me?" And the echo answered him, "Why are you alone? Why have you left me, abandoned?" The man realized that it was not God who had left him; it was himself who had closed himself off to others, who had stopped trying. Today, I want you to ask yourself that question. I have abandoned myself. If the answer is yes, I also want you to know something. It's never too late to find yourself again. So get up, breathe, dry those tears. This is not the end of your story. It is the chapter that stops you for something big, because even in the deepest darkness, a small spark can light a fire that illuminates everything. And behold, I am with you every day. Until the end of the world, Matthew twenty-eight twenty. Loneliness has a face that few recognize. Can be a refuge, not a punishment, but a pause in this space away from the noise of the world. You can hear something that will rarely hear your voice. That voice that has been buried under the expectations of others' failures, comparisons. When was the last time you asked yourself what you really want in the tenth century? Blaise Pascal wrote, "All the misfortune of men comes from not knowing how to remain a trust alone in their rooms. Sometimes the greatest challenge is not to face the world, but to face yourself, yourself. But in that battle, if you decide to look at yourself with love and compassion, you will discover that loneliness is not an enemy. It is a blank canvas where you can draw from scratch the version of yourself that you always dreamed of being the marble only. Becomes a work of art when sculptor removes the excess parts. And yes, sometimes it hurts." But that pain is carving something beautiful inside you. Do not reject it. Accept it as part of your transformation. As Rumi said, the wound is the place where the light enters. What moves you? What would make you get up from this bed, from this couch, from this place where right now it seems like the weight of the world is crushing you? Find out why it doesn't have to be something huge. Sometimes it can be as simple as wanting to see a sunrise, plus listening a song you love or help someone who is even more lost than you. I know it may sound trite to you, but faith, whether in God and the universe or simply in yourself, is the rope that will take you out of the abyss. You don't need to see it in its entirety. Just grab on knee and then start climbing step by step in the Bible. Isaiah four one ten says, "Don't be afraid because I am with you. Do not lose heart because I am your God who strives for you." I will always help you. I will always uphold you with the right hand of my justice. No matter how alone you feel, there is always something or someone that sustains you, even when you don't see it. Years ago, I read about a Japanese tradition called kintsugi edis, the art of repairing broken pottery with gold, making the scars part of the design, something beautiful and unique. Your wounds, your fractures, also be filled with something precious. Maybe whether it's love, wisdom, or simply the satisfaction of knowing that you survived. Loneliness can seem endless, but it is not. Every night, no matter how dark it may be, eventually gives way to dawn, and so it will be with you. Maybe today you will not see the light. Maybe not tomorrow either, but it will come because always.
arrives, there is no night so long that between at last its dawn, remember you are not the reflection of your worst days. You are the sum of each small act of bravery, each decision to try one more time. If the mirror does not give you the recognition you deserve, then break that metaphorical mirror and create a new image about yourself. One that celebrates your struggle and your ability to continue moving forward. You may feel like you are walking at a snail's pace, and while others are running, you are barely able to move forward. But walking slowly does not mean that you are not making progress. Even the slowest rivers reach the ocean, and you will also arrive in moments like this. It's easy to forget the beauty that still exists, but it's there waiting for you to see it. Maybe it's in the breeze that caresses your face and the sound of a song you loved as a child, in the smell in the morning, life doesn't always. It's about great moments. Sometimes it's the little things that remind you that it's worth being here. As Ralph Waldo Emerson said, the most beautiful things in the world cannot be kissed or touched, they must be felt with the heart. Allow yourself to feel. Allow yourself to find beauty even in the midst of the storm. I know that right now you don't feel strong but true strength. This not the absence of fear's adness, or weakness is facing them even when you think you can't take it anymore. An event though you don't see it, you are already doing it. You are here reading this looking for a spark that help you move forward. That search, that decision not to give up, is proof of your strength today doesn't have to be perfected, just has to be a beginning because every day is a new opportunity to rebuild yourself, to discover yourself, to love yourself. And when you reach the end of this stage when the lone lines has faded like a fog in the sun, you will realize something incredible. You were not weaky, you were just in the middle of a renaissance. So here you're on the edge of change, take the step life with all its uncertainty and beauty is waiting for you on the other side. You don't have to be alone on this journey, but even if I you are remember you are more than capable of crossing this storm and finding the light that was always there within you.